What's going on, everybody? It's Ty here. Welcome to the channel. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to properly input fields on DocuSign so you can send out contracts, agreements, etc. I'll make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you want more videos, help the channel grow. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Once you sign up for DocuSign, this will be your home page. Uh, I highly recommend you get the basic plan. It's about $40 per month. That gives you the ability to send as many documents per month as you want. Um, but for this video in particular, we're going to be talking about how to input fields for a real estate purchase and sales agreement. So you can send the sellers uh, when it comes to you know wholesale and real estate. So once you open up your, your homepage, the first thing I would recommend doing is going into your settings here. There's only a few key settings that I recommend that you look into setting uh, before you start sending out contracts. Go down to the section here where it says signing and sending. Click signing settings. Once you get the signing settings, you'll have a list of check boxes in which you have to check off on what you would like your recipients to see. So here are some of the boxes that we have checked off here. I'm not going to go through each one of them, uh, but you can pause the video and select these as you go along. After signing settings, go into sending settings, and it's going to be similar to what the signing settings are. So here, here are the check boxes that we have checked off. Pause the video and check it off. Um, and then lastly, email preferences. This is for receiving notifications for anybody that needs to sign, um, and also getting notifications as the sender when documents get completed, when someone looks at a document, when they open a document, uh, etc. So here are the settings here. Uh, pretty much have everything checked off. Um, pretty simple, just hit select all and you can check off all of these uh, things here to get notified. Going into setting up your document, go back to the home screen. First thing you do is hit start now. We're gonna insert that document. Hit upload, desktop. We're gonna look for our standard purchase and sales agreement. There it is. We'll hit add here. So after that is add recipients. So this part is very important because this is where we're putting the information, emails, et cetera, on who we're sending this purchase and sales agreement to. The first name that you're gonna put is your name because you will be signing this document. Next, you'll be putting your email. Now we're gonna input the seller's name and email. So Mr. Seller, email Mr. Seller at gmail.com. Now we're gonna set the signing order. This is very important because you wanna get your signature on the document first. So when the seller signs the document, the document is completed. So we're gonna check this box. This is gonna be the signing order. Number one is gonna be you. And number two is gonna be the seller. So once you get the document, you sign it, it's gonna automatically send to the seller with your signature on it. Once they sign it, the contract is gonna be fully executed. Now, after that, we're gonna to go to add message. Now, this is gonna be what your seller sees in their email once you send the document. So right here, you can put whatever you want. Um, you can put their address, 123 Main Street, you can put their name, Mr. Seller, email message, you can put, please see document, review, and sign. Contact me if you have any questions. Go to next. Now, as you hit next, another screen is going to pop up. This screen right here is the screen in which you will be inputting your fields uh, on your contract so it can get prepared to sign. So what's important here is up here in the top left-hand corner. So you're gonna have this drop-down for your, you and you're gonna have a drop-down for the seller. So we're gonna start with us first. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna input the seller's name, buyer's name, and we're gonna input all the fields that are gonna be in read-only format. And here we go. We're gonna click on this side, toolbar over here we're going to hit text and we're going to drag that over here and we're going to add the seller's name in that text box and the way you do that is over here to the right uncheck required and we're going to check read only so that way the seller doesn't have to fill in any information there 
So we'll put the seller's name, Mr. Seller. Next, we'll drag another text box here and do the same exact thing. And we're going to put our name in read only format as the buyer. Next, we're going to just keep filling in as we go along. Property address, read only format, 123 Main Street, Atlanta, Georgia, 3078, whatever the zip code may be. And we can drag this out to make it look a little neater. And you can change the font on here if you like, um, the size, the color, all of that stuff. But uh, I pretty much keep it how it is like this. It's fine. No big deal. So we just keep adding that read-only text for all the read-only fields. We'll put the purchase price, let's say 100000 is what we agreed to. Earnest money, whatever that earnest money amount, typically we put $1,000 earnest money on here on our contracts, whatever works for you guys. As we go along through the contract, we're just filling in. This is gonna be the closing date tab. We're gonna put read only here. Let's say closing date 12, 12, 23. In this section, we're gonna put read only again, the title company. ABC title. Get a little bit neat on the line. As we go down, due diligence. This is also a read only field. Put 10 days. Just it here. And then lastly, with the read only fields, is any additional terms that you want to add into your contract such as buyer agrees to purchase in as is condition is one that we like to put and we'll sort that out. And then another one we like to add in read only format, buyer agrees pay all of sellers closing costs. And we like to put this on our contracts just to make the seller feel more comfortable and know what the terms are that they're getting. So once we input all of our fields, now we need to go down here to the bottom where the seller and the buyer needs to sign. So for us as the buyer, we're going to input our signature field here. If there's multiple buyers, you obviously add another buyer, your partner, whatever put it there um, then we're going to go over here and put date sign up the date sign is going to automatically populate the current date in which the document was signed so you don't have to worry about that now for the most important part we want to switch over to where the seller is going to sign right so we'll go over here to the top left switch from our name to the seller then we'll grab that signature field and put it on the seller line and then we'll also get a date signed from the seller and put it on here. And that will complete the document field input. And then from there, you hit send. As you hit send, you'll get an email with the document coming to your email address, which you will have to sign the document. Show you guys here. So you get an email that says complete, right? You'll click review document. Click I agree, click continue. And as you'll see, the fields that we inputted are filled in completely. All of them. And all we have to do is click sign. Adopt and sign and hit finish. Once you hit finish, this document is going to automatically get sent to the seller. And all they will have to do is do the same exact thing. So I hope that helps. If you found this helpful, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment below of any videos in which you need help with, um, and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.